All right, here's a, uh, a little tour of my personal collection. Um, that is a Perry Trek Lynx 2 SS with a motion graphics painted and decaled body. Those were pretty popular in the mid and late 80s. Some of the uh, original, well, I would say the original, but they're the prints for the trophies from some of the track uh, races in the 90s from King. Uh, my time sheets from 1991 on the Speedway. Flyer from our first major event after we reopened the track in 2012, the Kimbrough 400. It's a autographed Bowlink 90 Pontiac. Those were sold at the Richard Petty Museum. I got a friend that works there. Hooked me up with one of them. This is a Ralph Birch Hyperdrive. Also received it from a guy that worked with Ralph at PTI. I believe the car ran through the Nationals in the early 90s, mid 90s. I'm not sure. There's the body. It is one of the few handmade 12 scale Lynx 2s that was run at uh, King Super Speedway back in the 90, 91, 92 era. Wide ground effects Lynx. It's a McAllister body hauler with the RJ Speed spec mod. The uh, frame for the trailer was scratch made out of styrene. The truck's actually sitting on a vintage Bowlink LTO with two pods. This is not that old, but it's an associated R5 with a 98 Taurus Mark Martin scheme. Scratch built drag car from a friend of mine that worked at RCR. Everybody had a grasshopper. This car goes to the beach at least twice a year. Some of the equipment. There's Dan's motor box with a can of Dan's spray still in it. Bud's dyno. Motor dresser. More plaques. These are all the RC car action magazines and or RC car magazines that have footage or coverage of the King Super Speedway. There's some more Ralph Birch items. And this is from our late racer Terry Rufty. This is the body that uh, Team Ugly was formed from. He passed away a few years ago. These are also some of the awards that Terry had gotten. This is an Associated 10L wide car, original, with an Ed Barrier 1990-91 Bush Series paint scheme. Men's autographed by Ed. There's the purple metallic carbon Trinity Switchblade. It's never been run. Never been on a track. It's a vintage Trinity Motors. Slot machine you had to have when you were running stock back in the day. There's some of the evolution of the cap tire. There's a the bow link, the TRC, the TRC lightweight, uh, race treads, some of the early BSR. 12 scale caps. This is a 10 SS with a Lynx front end, carbon fiber or composite craft, ground effects chassis. It's 
the pin from the Thunderdome. Dan's gold bars converted into fake diamond earrings. Brush motor lathe. The early hyperdrive STX. It's one of the probably the first three shot cars that were on the speedway. Everybody had to have a turbo 30. That gold charger, the Navcom, is actually my first charger. Banana lube. Battery jig. Building cells. Line charger, that's the bump box. You see the guys with 20 cells plugged to their car right before the heat started. That's the line charger. This is a replica of my 1990 IROC championship car from PC Hobbies and King on the indoor track when they had a high bank concrete. It's on a TRC Pro 10. This is a wide length. So I painted this body in 1990, 91. I believe I was 16 or 17. It's never been run. And that is my actual Magnum Junior that I ran for years. Still functional. This is my Lynx 2 SS narrow car that I ran in 1992, Roar Nationals, autographed by several of the, the names of the time Kent Clausen, Chris Dosek, Lee Bud Bartos is on there. There's a Roar, Roar handbook when they used to actually cover oval racing. Sweet sweat band we got as part of our entry on 1991 Oval Nationals and King. It's a Lynx 2 SS that was originally built by Chris Smith and has never been run. I put the half of the paint scheme from Chris that used to run all the time. Left half clear so you can see the chassis and the inner workings. Technologies Motor Dino. He was a local guy out of Powell Mountain that uh, helped us with a lot of our electronic stuff. This is a replica of my 1988 first A Main that I won when we moved to North Carolina at a Stokesdale dirt oval track. RC10, MRP body, O Link tires. There's the trophy. Unfortunately, all these boxes are empty. These car kits. This is the 1990 IROC trophy. And this little Radio Shack toy is the car that started it all. This was my, I believe I was. 11 years old and I got this for Christmas. It's not the car, but it is the same car and I found it on eBay, luckily, new in box. My breakout Patrol. We run breakouts, pretty popular around here. Just built that as a fun gag to chase one of our racers around, Mr. Jim Hardy. This is a wide Bowlink LTO. It's new, never been on the track with some original Bowlink BSR cap tires. This is a standard Bowlink eliminator with the three cells on each side with the 89 Chrysler LeBaron body painted Bob Keselowski scheme. This is a Bowlink LTO SS with the Rick Jordan paint scheme with new TRC caps. It's a TRC Pro 10. It is a replica of Bud Bartos' car from Lake Whippoorwill in 1987, I believe. It's an 83 Bowling T-Bird body. 
And this is the 12 scale. They were both on the cover of RC Car Extra Magazine that year. And this is a TRC Pro 12 with the same 83T bird body. There's a BRP 18 scale. And this is a Cobra LTOR with C's aluminum wheels, RJ Speed slash Bowlink Super Bird body. The original promo pack for the Bowlink Legends when they were a big hit when they first come out. Come with a few awards and stuff, just a little starter pack to start your Bowlink racing. Various plaques collected over the years. Some original Bowlink promotional posters. They got the cars on the back with a description of the chassis. They were uh, they were free at hobby shops. And Legends body of painted for Richard. A nice little letter. Some hand-drawn pictures of my short course truck when I was running Slash back in 2008. My brother Michael, he's the artiste in the family. Some old banners from the Speedway. Used bodies. It's actually a Parma Phase 1. I still run this truck. I run it in breakout on the Super Speedway during the summer season. This is Custom Works Dominator. This was Norris Cooper of Cooper RC Center. It was his actual car. The body I painted, it wasn't his paint scheme. I just had a body that was fit on it. The car didn't come with the body. That's another one of my Lynx experiment cars. Got a custom made chassis. A couple of spare quarter scale tires make good car stands. And that is pretty much it.